Hi everyone and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines already chanting Go Blue. Colliding here today, two top 25 teams having tremendous seasons set to battle it out against one another. As we'll see the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on the ninth ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. Brunier Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. the Trojans will kick this away to get us going. There. So the Michigan Wolverines offense comes on the field first today. And here comes the tight end who's having such a great season. Kirk, you talk to opponents and they always use the same phrase, matchup nightmare, this guy. Well, what stands out to me with this guy is it's not very often, you're right, the defensive coordinators are most concerned about a tight end. But in this case, that is exactly what we're dealing with. This guy can hurt you in so many different ways. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down play coming up. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. We're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. It's not a huge game here, but if you have multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. They'll try to keep the opening drive going here. It's third down and two. Trying to make the first with a wide receiver handoff. Jukes to get free. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him the third down, they load up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back and coming up with that conversion. The Wolverines will have first and ten here. They'll hand it off. Solid game moves the ball to the 43. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. That run sets up a critical third down play. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Boy, the defense misses out on an opportunity to get off of the field. They got the offense to third down, and they just weren't able to prevent them from converting. And the Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. They'll run this play from the pistol formation. They're going to run it. Makes a nice move there. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka, Tyrone Wheatley, and Leroy Hoare. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. He shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll run it from the gun. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. 
Well, this is exactly what you want to see as an offense to open up a football game. Everything seems to be working, whether they're running the football, as we saw right there, able to protect, throw the football with timing and rhythm, everything on full display for this offense to let this defense know they could be in for a long day. Trying to find some room. It's Edwards. <laughs> to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Keeping it on the ground here. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? The quarterback's got it on the option. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. So and they will settle for a field goal attempt. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. So USC's offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow it down. The impact players are just a few guys. Kurt, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams, great individual players. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. They don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, nice job by this defense being able to diagnose the counter play. You know, when you run that counter, you're hoping the illusion of the offense going one way and then coming back the other, that the defense buys into it. But they didn't buy it at all here, and they come up with a nice loss. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Gets made on the out route. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. Now the defense plays it pretty well. Force the quarterback to make the throw in front of you as a defense. Then you square up and make the tackle. Force them to do something special after the catch. That tactic works here. Now we've got a fourth down. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Fair catch made at the 35. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Grab down the middle. It's Morgan. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Now it's second down here. Dropping back. It's Orgy. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. And looking to throw now on first down. 
Caught over the middle. It's Loveland. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Pass complete. It's second down now. On the run, it's Edwards. Stock right there at the line. No game. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. It's third down for the offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And he dumps it off to the tight end. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. Well, it's a good thing they pick up the first down here because it would have been interesting to see. They were kind of in that no man's area there. If they did not pick up the first down, would they have kicked the field goal or would they have gone for it? But here, doesn't matter. Nice first down. The Wolverines pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. It's a shotgun run call. Oh. And that run produces a decent game. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. So the offense faces third at plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, it's going to be incomplete. Very lucky to avoid an interception there. Risky throw. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. they have got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. After making his first attempt, this one is from 43 yards out. The field goal is good. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Return starts from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. And they get a drive going this time. We'll give it to the running back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. I really like to see the counter mixed in there with your base concepts to keep the defense honest. Now, they didn't burst a big run, but if you keep mixing it in as the game progresses, you might catch the defense over pursuing. It's a draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about the defense on this play right here? Chris, they go with a draw play to try to take an advantage of an aggressive defense. It's pinning their ears to get upfield. But instead, it's almost like the defense was expecting the run. They're not surprised at all. They make a great play. And the Trojans will line up to kick it away. Looking to kick it away for the second time. And this one will be fair caught. This should be the last play of the quarter. Looking for a gap, it's Edwards. 
Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Here's the second down play. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four or more yards a pop like that. Offense are going to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. See, this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Running back with the football. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Offense appeared to be confused about the snap count there. It'll cost him five. Full start, Full start of offense. offense. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Fires it to the wideout. And he pulls in the catch. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game. Being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Love those positive yards on first and ten, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll raise second inches. It sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Second down play coming up for this offense. It's a run. Running back's got it. And the Wolverines pick up first down yards to keep the drive going. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line. But give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. The Wolverines lining up here on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he's in. Touchdown, Wolverines. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT puts them up 13 now. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he takes this from inside the five. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? That's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 29. Great job by the offensive line here. Opening up some holes and giving back room to run first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller. Allow him to make that defense think they're going to run. Maybe play action. Maybe throw the ball downfield. The Trojans will crank up the tempo. Mm -hmm. 
because they have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Offense in hurry-up mode. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Play moves the ball to about the 45. That's good for a first down. That's a first down for USC's offense. Nice job up front and an outstanding run here by this running back. What great tradition that USC has at running the football and having great backs. And it's beautiful to see another good one here today. And the Trojans pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. The junior able to bring him down quickly. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. The defense recovers the fumble. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Offense getting set. It's second down. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first half, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Morgan. And they pick up the first half of 23, getting closer to the red zone. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Single back takes the handoff. A quick shoot. Wolverines are in the red zone. Handoff here from the shotgun. And tackled after a small pickup there. Third down play for this offense. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Locates the tight end, is complete. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. He knocks this one right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Now, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board.
They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will move the way. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the USC offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they coughed it up, but it only cost them a field goal. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. You've got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field in that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defense a line, plenty of time to come up with that sack. Now it's fourth down and long. And the Trojans bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. Gets the kick away from his own end zone. And the fair catch, signal for and take it. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. And the single back takes the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. Second down after that previous play. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. They get him down, but that's a solid game. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Third down after that running play. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? So they'll send out the field goal unit to give it a shot here from very long distance. And he's got it from 58 yards away, never in doubt. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Hey, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. So we've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. Getting set. Here's second down. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Solid gain there. Moves the ball out to the 32. 
That's a big first down for this offense, and it's not been a great day so far, but maybe this play can get them going. And keep this in mind, Chris, because they started the game with the possession, they will not get to start the second half on offense, so they need points right here. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. And he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. And the Trojans come up to the line in a hurry up. Scanning the field, it's Moss. That one falls incomplete, looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. they got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Fair catch made at the 15-yard line. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They've got to be pleased with their performance here in the first half. Let's see if they just play it cautious and get to the break in front. They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. Well, that's the kind of play right there that this defense has been looking for. Maybe that'll spark them because, let's face it, this game has not gone the way they had hoped. But a play like that sometimes can create some momentum and change the complexion of the football game. From their own seven, it's now second and long. There's the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. The offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Sticking with the running game. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. And the Wolverines will send their punt team onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. Running it back, it's Branch. And he'll be brought down, and that will wrap up the first half of play. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, who has it better than you? Nobody. Not after that first half in Ann Arbor. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best of the biz for the start of this third quarter. And the Trojans will kick this away to start the second half. Fields it just outside the goal line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. First play of the drive. Looking to throw the football. He's a wide open receiver. Complete. He has first down yardage at the 46. It's a nice throw and a great catch by this USC wide receiver to pick up a first down. And boy, oh boy, USC quarterbacks and receivers, efficiency and timing and speed and execution. Boy, they are putting it on display once again today.
And here's the handoff. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. The linebacker shifting around now. And the Trojans will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Looking to pass, it's Moss. Throws it to the right. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort. It's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. So second down after the incompletion. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Tackled after a three-yard game. So it sets up a third and seven. Urgency now for the offense that hates to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Looking for the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Branch. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Hits the running back in the flat. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. And they get some positive yards here, which is from sitting up here looking down for us. Kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Second down after that short completion. Play action fake. Looking to throw. The pop. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Caught near the goal line. Bring him down short of the goal line, but it's first and goal from the two. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. And the Trojans trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take a lead in this game at some point. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Trojans. That's a crucial response by this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And it's good. Mm -hmm. 
Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fielded in the end zone. It's Morgan. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. A gain of two yards. And now it's second down and eight. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held it just at two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Soccer with a strong tackle there. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Good enough for first down yardage. With this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The Wolverines with first and ten here. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, these are the kind of plays you have to make to be able to win the game in the second half. This back had a great first half and has gotten plenty of touches, so you've got to make sure this half is different than how things have gone so far. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. And now the running back's got it again. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all. That ball carrier being tackled near the line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. The catch is made for a huge pickup. That's a big game, finally brought down near the 37. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. On the ground, it's Edwards. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Fires it to the wideout. And it's complete downfield. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. But they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. And the Wolverines are going to take advantage of this red zone trip. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Pass caught. Can he get in? Tackle is made at the four. It'll be first down and goal. Oh, that was close. Got just enough for the first down against that man-to-man -man coverage. Good awareness by the receiver to get past the sticks and move the chains. The Wolverines come to the line with first and goal. First and goal, handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All 11 guys coming together. They stood firm. The result is a short loss for the offense. Nice job. Ball moved back to the four for second and goal. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. 
Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. On first and goal, Chris, they run the football and lose yards. Then here on second down, they try to throw it in, come up with a sack. What can the offensive coordinator come up with here on third down? Because they've been going in reverse on these last couple plays. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. There's a screen pass to the running back. And they'll bring him down after a short game. Moves the football inside the five. Boy, it's third and forever. The defense sits back in what I would almost call like a prevent defense, trying to avoid the big play, and it nearly cost him. This running back picks up a lot of yards. Almost thought he might pick up the first down, but we still do have a fourth down, but at least it's more manageable. Oh, they've stopped him short. What a fourth down play, and they will take over on downs now. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Hey, it's a great job in this defense containing the running game. If I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground. And it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? And now the handoff defense able to stop him he's fourth down now and the Trojans will have to kick it away that's already his fifth punt of the game just able to get it away he's got some daylight turning on the speed Turner brought down, sets up the next drive. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Last time out there, they got stopped on fourth down, but it didn't cost him anything. Let's see what the mindset is here. Second down after that run on the previous play. Will hand it off. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. And the wideout goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. A screen pass complete to the running back. Takes the football inside the 30, and that's a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. We reach the end of the third. Time is running out to cut into this lead. Let's check out the game stats before we go on. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. The Wolverines have first and ten here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. Offense facing a second and ten. 
Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Catch made over the middle. And that broken tackle will earn him first down yardage. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just about to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. And the Wolverines pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Grab down the middle. It's Loveland. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Looking to throw it again. He's moving out of the pocket now. And now trapped behind the line. It'll be a short loss. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. To throw, it's Orgy. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short, unable to come up with a first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So now on comes the field goal unit. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Returner looking to make a play here. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Cut quickly. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. But you get some positive yards in the opening play of this drive. They need two touchdowns, so anything to move them closer to that first touchdown is always going to be good. First down and 10 now. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. Important second down play coming up. To the air, it's Moss. Quick throw to the left. He's got it for a big game. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, it's another positive play, but man, look at the clock and look at the score. You still need a couple touchdowns to be able to get yourself back into this game and have a chance to win it. So you got to keep moving here and keep taking those shots downfield. He hands it to the back. Watch the spin move. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. Second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense.
The defense better regroup after that big gainer. It's first and goal just outside the five. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Southern California. Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back. But the continuity this offensive line was on display, and that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. Now they'll set up for the point after. PAT is good. They still trail, though. There's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Suddenly, this is a tighter game. You'd love to build a drive, choose some clock. How aggressive will they get with the play call? They bring him down, but a solid game there in first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. Boy, this guy just keeps playing good football. He's like a bowling ball out there. Gets low pad support, running over top of defenders. Just a pretty runner, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead here in the fourth quarter. Come to the line for second down and very short now. Testing the right side here. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. The offense will set up on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. on the outside it's Morris and he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards well anytime you can have a balanced attack it's always going to help an offense and you know the previous play they're running the football that puts a lot of pressure on the eyes of the linebackers and safeties they start to think about defending the run and a great job with that play action call to get them out of position and be able to hit that for that conversion looking downfield it's Orgy but they can't make the connection balls incomplete Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made after a big game. Oh, that really hurts for this defense. They get these guys the third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. The Wolverines churn out another first down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Now I like to run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. The offense has done well to choose some clock here. Now they'll come up on second down. Play action fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. He finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. The game moves the football to the six yard line. It'll be first down and goal. That last catch, Kirk, puts him over 150 receiving yards in the game. Let's start checking the record books. This guy's making a, a push. Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter what the defensive coordinator calls, whether they play man, whether they play zone. The quarterback has been able to find this guy all day long for such a huge day. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter. 
critical down in distances. This guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game, showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. That's a second and goal play for the offense. And they're trying to punch it in here. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan. So the offense flexing Kirk and stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if you're this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead so you can go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. Planning up to try the extra point. An extra point makes the lead 15 here in the final quarter. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump. And that defender was able to get a big call on the ball and bat it away. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Looking to throw, it's Moss. Quick throw to his receiver. Intercepted, picked off of the defense. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They're going to run it here. Eludes a tackle. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Man, just complimentary football, really, in a nutshell. They get this football back thanks to their own defense, creating that turnover, working with the lead like this. Really, it's all but over. Now the offense is just thinking about running the football and working that clock. Now it's second down here. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Touchdown, Wolverines. And the beatdown continues. So they find the reliable tight end and he makes the defense pay that time. You know, the receivers a lot of times get most of the attention. But don't forget about how potent a tight end can be. When you've got a player like this who can run routes, get a serious weapon that they can utilize, and they just did right there. Now the important point after attempt. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Caught over the middle. It's Branch. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. The game moves the ball past the 40, sets up another first and 10. To throw, it's Moss. He'll take a deep shot here. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. Touchdown, SC. This offense really clicking. 
Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. Now the try for two. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And tackled there by the defense. A great job here by the defense on this conversion. Nice heads up play to prevent the two point try. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. Bringing it out, it's Morris. To be tackled at the 21, that's good work by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? Trying to find room, it's Edwards. They break him down, but that's a good play. Boots the ball to the 39. Boy, this offense's execution has been on point all game long, but especially in this fourth quarter. They're getting better and better, and this defense seems to have just quit out there. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. Use the running game to chew on this clock now. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Here's the second down play. The back's got it. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, this is a huge third down coming up here, and here's where that chess match comes to head. And for the defense, they desperately need to make a play if they believe they have any chance of coming back to win this game. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Going to try to use his legs here. And this offense picks up the first down. They tackle him at the 44. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. The Wolverines will line up on first and ten. He'll hand it off. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Hands off to the left. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. That gain sets up a third down play. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Running back grabs it on a screen. And he's tackled just short of that first down marker. Good job by the defense. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So a field goal attempt coming up now. And the importance of this attempt, if he makes it, it's now a three-score game. Kick is up and no good. And the lead remains at 16 after the miss. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead he shanks it. And the USC offense is back out on the field. First down here for this offense. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. The sure hands, it's Branch. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
man, this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game. He's got two touchdowns already. Now they look to him again, and he picks up the first down. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. On first and ten, looking to throw. And he finds the running back in the flat. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You got a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. Well, crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. Looking to throw. It's Moss. Lofting it toward the left sideline. They try a downfield shot. That's a good effort there. But now it's third down. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. you got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. So the ball at midfield, and now the offense facing a third and long. And it's going to be incomplete. Defense had a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk. But with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. The crowd looking for a big fourth down stop. And he finds his target. He has the first. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. And they quickly spike the football to stop the clock. Second down play coming up for this offense. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Back to throw. It's Moss. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fires it to the wideout. It's complete. That's enough for a first down. Four set of bounds after a nice gain. The offense is knocking on the door with a first and goal. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game. But they're doing the right things, managing the clock, picking up good yards, and getting out of bounds. And the Trojans looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Second down and goal. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Launching one to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. That ball just seemed to sail on it. you got to make sure to give your receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time. And if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not going to give them that opportunity. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. From the shotgun, drops back. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, USC. Now, you know, this touchdown it actually gives them a chance now that they're down 10. 
really critical. You pull out the two-point play, you got to hit it to make it a one-possession game. Now, they'll go for a two-point conversion. And it's incomplete. They tried for the consolation two-point try, but this game is over. 